Welcome back to the room. What if the entire game did actually take place in the room? You know, I, I really wouldn't mind like a VR implementation of the room if such a thing could be possible. You never actually leave the room. It's just maybe like Henry, maybe you're like you're Henry's roommate. And Henry is going in and out of the holes and coming back in and just, like, filling you in on what's been happening as he's been going outside. But you never actually leave the room. You're here the whole time. You're Henry's uh, roommate that no one knows about. Anyway, we're continuing on with Silent Hill 4. I'm holding some things. Like Eileen's purse, because Eileen is now a person that we're traveling with. Um... What do I want? I'm just thinking about what I want. I might want to take with me. I'm going to put the gun and the bullets away. I don't think I'll need them. Need them for what? Where are we going next? Well, remember, our objective is to get down into the deepest part of Walter. That's the goal. I don't suppose there's anyone out there right now. There is not. It's all quiet out there. All right, let's head back in here. So last time we discovered that now that Eileen is with us, when we go back to the room, we no longer regenerate health, which uh, takes away basically our insurance policy that no matter how hurt we could get, we could head back to the room and it would be fine. It's no longer fine. Hello, Eileen. She's been waiting for us out here by the in the spiral staircase and going down. Squelch, squelch, squelch. Little things on the side, little silhouettes and shapes that we can barely see. Just hints at what might be out there. Here's a door. The halo on the sun is on this door. Well, Eileen, let's see what's through it. And what we find... is surprisingly mundane. It just looks like a... A hallway with some, you know, pipes. Doesn't really look special. I mean, we want this. We haven't used holy candles yet. But we do want them. Unlock this door. Well, we know what this is. We've, we've encountered these guys. One on one, they're not a problem. But once we come out into this hallway... Things might look a little familiar. Like, maybe we've seen this hallway before. We have come down this escalator before. It's down only. So, first time we went through the hole... Joseph is the guy who lived in the apartment before us. He's been leaving us notes. Well, if he's dead, how is he leaving us notes? But as far as this escalator goes, this is where we came down after we went through the hole the first time. We're in the corridor where we met uh, Cynthia. She was at the end of the hallway. Which means we have returned to Subway World. Now, at some point, as the first-time player plays through this, they're going to come to a realization. And this realization is going to come to different people at different times. 
but I'll just let you know now. This is where we realize the second half of Silent Hill 4 The Room is to replay the first half of Silent Hill 4 The Room, except this time it's an escort mission. And this is the big thing that people tend to com comment about this game when they bring it up. Things are a little bit different. There might be some new items. Maybe some enemies are remixed. Maybe we will find some, um, some important story-related things that we did not find the first time. But most importantly, Eileen is with us. When I announced I was going to be playing this game and that I would be playing it twice, once on the PS2 and once on the PC, I believe someone made the comment, Oh, you're playing the game four times? And I thought that was funny. That was, uh, that was a very good joke. Slugs. Gonna ruin this pair of shoes once again. Eileen, you want to get in on this? It's strangely satisfying. No? All right. If we're back in the subway... Hold on, Eileen. Let's just stay here. Oh, yes. Eileen doesn't see the holes. Remember that? She doesn't actually see them. When Henry goes through the holes, Eileen says she, uh, he just disappears. And she doesn't know what he's doing. But she has to trust him because, well, what else is she going to do? She just has to trust that he knows what he's doing and that he's going through holes that lead back to his... Back to his room. Seems like everything is fine. But now that we're back on the subway... Oh. There's a sound. It's a clock ticking. Clocks don't work that way. It's going way too fast. I'm getting a very bad feeling all over. My Saint Medallion is ringing like, like I'm near a ghost. So, in the second half of Silent Hill 4, the room, not only does the room stop healing you, it starts hurting you because uh, we will start to get haunted. How do we exercise these hauntings? With the, uh, the candles. I just need to get close to it and put the candle down. There we go. So these candles uh, purify evil spirits. The clock stopped ticking. There we go. All safe. Now the function of the radio now is if there was a haunting in here, there would be static. If not, there's nothing. So we're not going to get news bulletins, but it does serve a function. One thing I should mention about the candles. The candles are also what we might use to heal Eileen if she takes damage. Because she does not take physical damage. She takes spiritual damage. As she takes damage, she can be possessed. And that could be bad. As Well, I mean, we'll discuss that a bit later. Um, if we put a candle down in front of her, we can purify her as well. So, do you want to use a candle for that purpose? Or do you want to use a candle to to cleanse some hauntings? It's really up to you. Something new here. It's a filthy envelope. There's a letter and a toy key inside. Mommy, I'll give you this, so please wake up soon. It's inside my toy train. We put the kid's letter on our scrapbook and got the toy key. A key-shaped plastic kid's toy. A scrap of red paper stuck in here, which means another message from Joseph. I found two mysterious and powerful artifacts that seem to be very effective for evading the ghost victims. The Holy Candle and the Saint Medallion. 
Not only are they effective against the ghost victims in the other world, they also seem to prevent, to prevent them from invading my room. Just light the candle near where they're coming in, and its holy power is activated. The Saint Medallion seems to repel unholy energy when it's worn. Equipped. I'm starting to gain some hope! July 25th! Alright, so Joseph finding some tools to fight the evil spirits that were plaguing him. So the main reason I came back here was to get that toy key. But what do we need the toy key for? I am... Let's put that away. And let's... Um... Remember the sword? We can use it to pin down ghosts. I'm going to take one with me. And we also need this. The token from the subway. If we're going to get around in the subway, we will need to get take this token out of our box. Now, even though you can use candles on Eileen, you want to... You want to avoid her taking damage as much as possible. For reasons. It's reasons that won't come up until, like, the very end of the game. But I mentioned that there are four endings to the game. And uh, a big th two big things that affect those are how many hauntings you cleanse and um, Eileen's state at the end of the game. So now we are, now in the second half, now we're actually deciding what endings we're going to be getting. And I said at the beginning, we are going for the best ending this time. Oh. We never fought a boss yet in this game. So uh, let's get ready to be introduced to our first boss ghost. So say hi to Cynthia. Eileen, this is Cynthia. Uh, we met her earlier on. She's coming this way. All right. Oh, this camera's not doing me any favors. Okay, Eileen, let's uh, get her in the pincer position. Eileen, start smacking. There we go. Nope. She's getting away! I believe she's getting away! <laughs> After her! Eileen, over here. I need your purse over here, Eileen. Get her! Can I use it? Doesn't seem like it yet. Now she's getting back up. Oh, there it is. All right. Good work, Eileen. We impaled her with the sword, which means she will not be able to get up. We don't have to do that, and we don't get anything from doing that. But if we didn't, uh, she would be 
pursuing us for a while. So she won't be doing that now. Now she's just going to stay there. So Eileen, I mean, I mean Cynthia's murder site was uh, right past this. The King Street Line entrance. Cynthia dropped some of her stuff here. There's a commuter ticket here. But we can't get to the other side of that. We can't unlock it. We have these tokens. But I can't use this here. These tokens don't work for this. But the tokens do work for this turnstile. So... What are we doing? This is the point the first time I played the game. As I was exploring this level that I just stopped playing. And I think a big reason is that... It is... At this point in the game, it's so unclear what we're what we're doing here. Like I've we we've been here before. There was never like an exit from the subway. The subway level ended when we found Cynthia dying, and that was the end of it. So why are we back here? Well, for one thing, hold on. Let's look over here. Eileen, there's a horse riding crop here. Take the riding crop. Yep. It's an Eileen-only weapon. Light and easy to use with a good reach. It looks like it would be very painful. All right, this is more powerful than her handbag, so we're going to equip it. There we go. Now she has the riding crop. You might be asking, why uh, does Eileen get a riding crop for a weapon? It's because this game is a little horny. Take this health drink. Oh, but let's uh, get to know Eileen, how she works. So, if I run, I run a lot faster than her. So, I kind of have to walk so she can keep up. It's not a big problem if we're in the same room, but if I get enough speed between us and I go through a door, she will not go through the door. She will remain in the previous room. And if there are enemies in that room uh, and we leave her there, she will take a tremendous amount of damage. Remember this. This is the... There's like a couple of trains right here, and it's sort of like... A, like South Ashfield Station. Mm-hmm. Looks just like it. So we've done this before. But is there anything here that might be new? We passed by this box the first time round. Toy box here. It has 1,000 mm, written on it. Locked and we can't open it. But we got this toy key under our door. There's a filthy toy coin inside this box. We got the filthy coin. Coin caked with dirt and grime. I bet I could clean it in the kitchen sink in my room. Finally, we're going to use our kitchen sink for something. Henry has not wanted to wash his hands. There is a vending machine over here with the same, like, symbol on it. I could try the coin. It doesn't work. This coin is too dirty. It needs to be cleaned. All right, let's take a look at how far behind Eileen can, can be if we run. She's considerably slower than Henry. Also, I think there's something... Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's a medallion here. 
we'll just take that. All right. Oh, there's no hole in this one. Oh, but there's a candle. Let's look for a hole. I can't use a ladder with my arm like this. It's true. She cannot. But fortunately, there's no enemies in that room. So she can stay in there. And uh, we can just go off on our own for the moment. Here we go. Everything's fine. Or maybe not everything's fine. Oh no, my windows! They're banging. I mean, I would like to open the windows, but... Yeah, they're hurting me if I get close, so that means it's candle time. There we go. And the evil spirits are exorcised. Let's head to the sink. Oh, hold on. There's... We got this right here first. It's a red paper stuck in here. A few days after Walter killed himself in his cell, several residents witnessed a long-haired man with a coat here. Through his window, Richard Braintree in 207 saw the man moving something heavy and doing something in room 302. Even Sunderland, the superintendent, saw the man with the coat hanging around room 302 and confirmed that there were signs of someone having been in there. July 17. All right, so we've encountered the man with the coat, and apparently he's been in our room. Doing things. Why does Walter not want us to go out? We don't really have a reason for that. Also, I keep looking back in here just to see if we see anything. So far, we have not. But what we want to see is this sink. I can wash the coin. There's that dirty coin. We washed the filthy coin with water. And got the one, uh, coin. One, uh, coin. Toy coin with one, uh, written on it. Maybe someone meant to write one, write one dollar? Possibly. Maybe some child wrote it wrong. It could be. Uh, we can put the purse away, and uh, we'll put that away as well. That medallion is almost done, so we'll keep this other one here. Well, this would be the other side of the trains. Let's 
just want to remind myself if there was anything new here I might want to get. Oh, there's a, a med kit. Definitely valuable right now. That door is not going to open. by a ghost and our medallion broke hi Eileen I went back to my apartment and I used my sink to clean this filthy coin that I got when I opened up that toy box uh, did I mention that I unlocked the toy box with like a child's toy key that was slid under my door in an envelope I suspect probably from Walter Sullivan, the child, um, who might be the child version of a mass murderer, Eileen, who put us here. And I suspect he put something in this vending machine, Eileen. Are you understanding my theory here? Says one uh, on it. This came out of the vending machine. We got the murder scene key. Key from the vending machine. The tag on it says murder scene. Look at this key, Eileen. How did that get into the vending machine, Eileen? You can't answer that. All right. Are, is there a murder scene here, Eileen? Well, you did not see it. Only Henry saw it. Uh, this murder scene was where Cynthia was killed. At least that's the only murder scene we've seen in Subway World. Did you know this place is called Subway World? Oh, did I mention that the numbers on your back are actually 20 out of 21? I'm, you know, Henry is probably going to be number 21. Is It seems like that's the case. All right, we're back down here. There's like a giant worm. Uh, you know, giant worms hanging around as they do. Just leave them alone and they'll you, they'll leave you alone. Okay. I mentioned before that it's kind of hard to figure out just why what are we what's our goal? What are we doing? Well, there was one thing that we couldn't do anything with the first time we were in Subway World, and it has to do with this train. If we walk down this train... Let's see. All right, there's an open door, but we can't go through it. You can also go to the front of the train, and it says there's a handle missing from this projection. It should act as a key. I think I can move this train car. If only I had a train handle. Through the driver's seat window, I can see light coming in from the side of the tunnel. So, we could try moving the train. If we find the handle, what width to use it. But where could we find such a thing? 
Hello. Well, you might remember where we are and what where this escalator leads. That's right, it's Wallmen. Henry with the suave moves. His savoir faire is maxed out. Also, as we go down this hallway, kind of an odd thing down here. Why does that theme start up for like a few seconds? Never mind. Look, Silent Hill 4 thought for a second we might need music, then thought against it. We don't need music. And remember, we remember this. It's Cynthia's stuff. Cynthia left all this behind. I guess the police have been here. They've circled everything and numbered them. You can also hear Cynthia. She's out She's out there on the other side somewhere where we skewered her down. But there is something new here. This was Cynthia's. We'll take Cynthia's commuter ticket. Commuter ticket for the subways, King Street, and Lynch Street lines can be used multiple times. All right. Well, I guess this is Cynthia's special favor. She's giving us her commuter card. Anyway, this is the room where she was murdered. We use the murder scene key. A lot of blood left in here. But also... Train? What's a, what's a train handle doing here? I guess Cynthia must have been lying on it when she was dying. Handle from the King Street Line train. It's like a key needed to run the train. All right, well, now we can move the train. But hold on. We need to bring Eileen to the train. But she can't climb down the ladder. Fortunately, we have Cynthia's commuter card. Which means we can now go through this turnstile. Thank you, Cynthia. By the way, I haven't really been looking at these signs. I think this one was in Silent Hill 3. Havoc Business Daily. Pretty sure this was in that one. I don't think there are new uh, sign textures in this. I think they're reused. Haven't noticed new ones. All right, well... Let's head back to where Eileen is. Yeah, hold on. There's Havoc Business Daily. It's real faded. Yeah, I don't... I don't know if there's anything new here. It's also the camera angle clearly is positioned, so you're not really meant to look at it. Eileen, I found the train handle. It's like a key for the train. 
I also found the commuter ticket for that woman, the dead woman, that we impaled with a ghost sword. Eileen's taking all this in stride, not even asking us about the ghost woman that we impaled with a sword. You'd think that might generate some questions. They have ads for Havoc Business Daily all over this subway. I guess no one else... I guess uh, the advertising budget for uh, all those other companies that were advertising in Silent Hill 3, I guess it's pretty low. I do not see a single cat food commercial. We're not getting any updated status on Minmo. Use Cynthia's card to head back through this other turnstile. This looks like the Yeah. This looks like a murder scene is what this looks like. Uh do you think you'd need any of this stuff? It's like I don't I don't like wasting things. Does anything anything look good? Like think of it like a yard sale or something. No? Alright, alright. But to get to that train, we have to go down the escalator. Run, Eileen! It's Wallmen! So she can get smacked, but she doesn't go she doesn't go flying the way Henry does. I like how they knock they can knock you up. They can knock you up the escalator. Doing okay? Fortunately, we will not have to go up that up, up, up or down that escalator again. Eileen, Eileen, are you fighting the ghost? You see, this is so. If Eileen is equipped with a weapon, she might go fight an enemy instead of following you. She, she's Eileen. You wanna? Okay, I'll just let you. I'll let you add it. I, I have to move this. I have to move this train. The car, the car moved about one length. How much? I do have a couple of health items in case I'm taking some damage. Oh, the ghost is not here, though. I guess it just decided to go away. That's probably fine. Since we moved the train, we now have exposed this hallway. And what do we find? We find a door with another sword by it. Some kind of strange sword. Well, we used a sword, so we do need a sword. Let's head on through. It's the man in the coat! Get him! <laughs> Pincer strategy, Eileen. <laughs> oh, 
All right, Henry. Now stomp his balls. There you go. Got a good ankle twist in there, too. So... Here's the villain of the game. Ah. Eileen just can't... Just, she's disgusted by this guy. <laughs> Eileen, you can just walk away. Are you stuck there? Okay. So here's the villain. Um, now that we're in the second half of the game, he will be coming after us to try to kill us. Because Eileen is supposed to be dead. Remember, she's victim 20 out of 21. Um, she has the number on her, but she's still alive. So he's trying to rectify that. Um, this is the man in the coat. We haven't officially gotten his name yet. At least, well, I mean... Up to now, he's the man in the coat. He's just gonna lie there until we leave. So, we can't kill him. We can just knock him out. Oh, Eileen, one more th one thing. Since you're victim, out of, you're victim 20 out of 21, and I'm victim 21 out of 21, as long as you're alive, he can't kill me. Isn't that good news for me? Yeah. It's a door with a halo of the sun on it. I don't think we can read these. Doesn't seem like it. I feel like it's rude to name someone before they get to introduce themselves. So for right now, that's the man in the coat. And he will be following us as we go deeper. We have left Subway World. And we continue to go deeper. We didn't have to beat up that guy, by the way. We could have just run through the door. But, you know. Henry will take a little break. And as we look down, we still cannot see the bottom. Bottom is nowhere in sight. Seems like everything's fine. Nothing underneath the door. No one out in the hallway. And, uh... Doesn't feel like we're... Taking any damage. Radio has static. Hmm. Let's walk around a little bit. Oh, something in the kitchen? The water works, but I got nothing to wash. Nothing in the... Nothing in the fridge. Hmm. Oh. Our shoes. They're there in the kitchen. My shoes have been haunted? How dare the evil spirits? I'll show them. Yeah. 
Yeah. Shoes are back where they belong. Took me a second to see the beige shoes onto the, on the beige floor. Look, they there's a, a certain color they like here in the Ashfield Apartments. Let's see. Well, we can put the uh, tokens away. We can put the commuter card away. Uh, I might as well put the health drink away as we go into the next level. Um, maybe I'll keep the sword of obedience for right now, but put the bullets away. Uh, maybe that's fine. Another save. As we have returned from below Subway World. And that candle is going to take a while to burn down since it really did not take long at all to, uh, to get rid of those shoes. The, the, the evil spirits haunting the shoes must not have been very powerful. Well, okay. We've uh, completed the first level of the second part of the game. We're getting an idea of what it what this is all about. We are escorting Eileen through the levels that we have already played. Um, they're remixed in slight ways, and we will have to deal with some boss ghosts, and that is how these swords are going to come into play. Um, also, the man in the coat is going to be stalking us. Uh, trying to kill his last victims. Of course, we have to stop him from doing that. Either by running away or just beating him down until he just doesn't get up anymore. Either way should be fine. And in the meantime, we are walking down this spiral staircase, trying to get to the very bottom of Walter, as they say, where we will find the ultimate truth whatever that might be as we continue on in silent hill 4 not really the room anymore because we spend most of our time outside the room now it's really all about that spiral staircase it's all about that staircase we're trying to get to the bottom of it that's really more important than the room at this point we'll continue on